Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back finishing off this pack, this uh, box of jumbo cello wax pack, cello packs here, tops 1992 baseball, uh, with the intention of finding some gold. Now, I've only got five packs left here, and I have yet to find a single gold card. Not encouraging. I've also opened uh, probably 30 or so individual wax packs, standard size wax pack, and found no gold. I don't know if there's a conspiracy theory or if these are resealed by somebody, but like these are seem pretty tamper proof here. Not sure how you would even open these or how you would tell if there are gold cards in there or something. So maybe it's just bad luck, but um, kind of following the footsteps of footsteps of Polly's Packs, my friend's YouTube channel, where he opens cards as well, where he had a bunch of packs and didn't find one gold one. So we are on a, a gold drought. So we're going to see if we can break that drought right here, right now, and you're going to watch it, and we're going to figure out how to do this thing. As well as look for some of my favorite players and all-stars and Hall of Famers like this one, Ricky Henderson. Look, every year except for two leads the league in stolen bases. That is consistency. And just forget stolen bases. That guy's just an all-around great player. There's a Randy Johnson, big unit. Led the league two years in a row in balls, walks, facing on balls there. So, although he's a great dominating pitcher, did not necessarily start off that great. All right. So, no gold there. I can't believe it really is that hard to find these gold cards. I even tried a metal detector when I first got these packs and boxes to see if that would help me find it, but I don't think it works in that way. I don't think it was enough gold to make it make it show up. So there's a Bernie Williams. It's a good one. Love that town road sort of picture. Him jogging with the team with Oral Hershiser, Gary Carter, Tim Cruz back there, I think. Steve Sachs in midair. Low on. Nice power hitter there for the Red Sox. But so far, not a whole lot going on. We are down to three jumbo packs left. Please, please, give me some gold. I think if I don't get any gold here, I'm, I just give up on 92 tops. I think that's the end of it. Not going to continue this search and throw good money after bad. I just can't believe that there would be no gold in that entire box, plus all the packs I had. There's Jim Tomey, rookie. Jim's looking happy there. Gary Sheffield. Oh my goodness! There it is. We finally got our gold. It's Steve Wilson. Who is Steve Wilson, you might ask? No one knows. <laughs> but there it is. My gold card. Finally. Steve Wilson. Let's put him aside. We'll take a look at him. Look it up. See what happened to good old Steve Wilson. My faith in the baseball card collecting game is restored. I feel... Vindicated and validated. Wait till I tell Paul over at Polypax. He will be very excited as well to know that gold is still out there to be found. It does exist. There's a Sammy Sosa too. Now that's always the letdown when you find a gold card. So you're doing all this searching for a gold card and then you get one where it's like, who is that guy? <laughs> There's Apollo O'Neill. But you never know. You could have gotten a gold Nolan Ryan or a gold Ken Griffey Jr. or something that you really wanted. It's John Smoltz.
And we'll finish this up. This is my last jumbo pack from this box. I do like the jumbo packs. It just feels like, uh, I don't know, you get a lot of, lot of, a lot of cards in there because they're bigger, obviously. And I do hate opening these cello packs, so the, the fewer packs I can open for the same amount of cards, the happier I am. Look there, there's a Ryan Sandberg, one of my favorite guys. I'll add that to my personal collection. A league third in the league in runs that year. Jose Uribe. Oh, there's Dave Winfield, record breaker. Oldest person to hit for the cycle. Baseball history. Greg, that is some shirt, my friend. All these early 90s senior class pictures that they have on the cards this season. That was good touch tops. There's Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge, rookie card. A little off center, but pretty good. And there's Dave Winfield again. You see his long, illustrious career. And folks, there's Ken Griffey Sr. to round us out. He got a long year, long career with the Reds. Yankees, Braves, Mariners. But we did it. There's cause for celebration because we got the Steve Wilson Gold Guard. Steve Wilson. Steve looks pretty pleased with himself, I'll be honest with you. Well, let's look up old Steve Wilson, see whatever happened to that guy. Actually, it might be kind of hard to find him. He could be the jazz musician, the football commentator, the Ohio politician. <laughs> it doesn't even have him in here. There we go. Canadian baseball player. Maybe that's why he's so happy he's a Canadian. Retired baseball player, pitcher, parts of six seasons. Played for the 84 Olympic Games for Canada. It was 13 and 18 with a 440 ERA and 252 strikeouts. So not a terribly great career. Played from 88 to 93. Oh, it was part of the Rafael Palmero deal uh, with the Cubs. Sending him to the Rangers. And play for the Taiwan Major League team. And then he retired from the Taiwan League to get married and settle down in Tainan. Currently runs an English school for elementary school kids and scouts for the Cubs in the Pacific Rim. Huh. It's good for him. So settled overseas. Became a scout for the Cubs, but also taught English to children. So, Steve Wilson, hats off to you, and thank you for being my gold card. You can see they got the Topps gold watermark there. And uh, we did it. Thank you for being here and sharing this moment with me. We'll see you next time.